Hi, I'm student Dr. Wolf and I'm going to be evaluating you here today. Hi, I'm Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Um, how old are you? 24. Okay, 24. And what brings you in today? Uh, I've been having some cold, numb feeling in my toes and then also some color changes that are concerning. Okay. Um, and did anything trigger this? Any trauma to the area? Uh, started about two weeks ago, no trauma, just when I'm out in the cold, I notice it kind of starts it. Okay, um, and you said in your toes, is it just a few toes? Is it all of your toes? All of the toes. Okay, all the toes on both feet? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, and then when you do notice the, the pain or the, in the cold sensation, is it um, sharp? Is it a dull pain? Is it a burning pain? Uh, it's burning when I go from the cold and come back inside to the warm, and then after a while, being in the warm, it goes away. Okay. Um, do you notice anything that kind of makes the pain worse? Uh, being out in the cold makes it worse. Okay, and how about anything that relieves the pain? Uh, being back in the warm. Okay, relieves it. Um, and does the pain kind of stay localized in the toes, or does it um, kind of radiate up the foot and the leg? No, mostly just stays in the toes. Okay. And you said this began about two weeks ago? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and then uh, today, Jordan, would, how would you describe the pain on a scale from zero to 10, with zero being no pain and 10 being the worst pain, such as childbirth? I'd say about a four. Okay. Um, and Jordan, do you have any recent hospitalizations or recent surgeries? No. Okay. Any childhood illnesses or adult illnesses? Uh, I have rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. Um, is that being treated? Yeah. Okay. Um, are you up to date on all immunizations? Yeah. Okay. And you said you're treating the rheumatoid arthritis. Are you on any medications? Yeah, I take Plaquenil. Okay. Do you have another dose? Uh, 200 milligrams twice a day. Okay. Do you have any allergies? No. Any um, transfusions, recent transfusions? No. Okay. And you're alert, you're oriented, you don't seem too anxious? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you have a family history of rheumatoid arthritis? Yeah, my mom and my sister both have it. Okay, um, and are both parents still alive? Yes. Okay. Um, are you sexually active, Jordan? Yeah, I'm married. Okay, uh, so monogamous. Mm -hmm. um, how would you describe your sleep? Uh, pretty normal. Okay, do you smoke? No. Okay, and um, what do you do for work? Uh, I work in an apartment complex. I show apartments to new future residents. Okay, are you outside quite a bit for that? Yeah. Okay, so you're outside in the cold throughout yeah. the day? Okay. Um, any drug use? No. Okay, um, how would you describe your diet? Uh, pretty healthy, well-rounded. Okay, do you drink regularly, socially? Uh, just socially. Okay, about how many drinks a week? Uh, like three to four. Okay, do you have any pets? No. And you said you were married? Yes. Have you traveled um, recently within or outside of the U.S.? No. Okay. All right, Jordan, I'm going to um, do a quick physical exam on you. I'm going to start with the vascular exam, okay? You can put your feet up here. I'm going to check your pulses first. Dorsalis pedis is present, two out of four. Posterior tibial present, two out of four. Popliteal present, two out of four. Dorsalis pedis is present, two out of four. Posterior tibial present, two out of four. Popliteal present, two out of four. Skin turger, good. Elastic, you're well hydrated. Nice and temp. All right, so skin temperature is warm to warm. However, I do notice a slight reduction in temperature in your toes. I'm going to check capillary refill. So capillary filling time is a bit delayed. It should be less than three seconds. It's a bit more than three seconds with you, which does uh, 
you know, makes sense because I do notice some pallor and cyanosis here. However, after I've like worn the digits, there's some hyperemia, which just means there's some more blood flow getting to the digits here. Uh, and I do notice bilateral hair growth, so that's also good. All right, I'm gonna move on to the dermatological exam. So uh, I see no obvious lesions or open wounds or ulcerations on the anterior surface of the leg or dorsum of the foot. The plantar aspect of both feet look good. Posterior leg looks good. Posterior leg looks good. No evidence of dry skin. No interdigital macerations. The nails appear healthy, but once again, I do uh, note the pallor, the cyanosis here, but there is some hyperemia in your digits. Okay, for the musculoskeletal exam, I'm just gonna have you push against my hands to test the strength of some of your muscles. So if you can push against, good, push in. Good. All right, I'm going to check the range of motion, some of your joints. Okay, subtalar joint. Good. Full range of motion. Tail joint. Good. Full range of motion. And there's no pain, limitations, or crepitus. Um, first ray range of motion. Okay, you have full range of motion, the first ray. Full range of motion in the first ray. All right, ankle joint. So you have limited ankle joint dor dor dorsiflexion. It just means you're not getting to 10 degrees past perpendicular. So I'm gonna do the silver squid test. If you can lay back and then I'll put you lay up here. So you are getting to 10 degrees here, which is positive for gastrocnemius equinus. It just means that your gastrocnemius muscle is a bit tight. Um, I see uh, there's no presence of tumors or masses, and there's no orthopedic abnormalities. Um, so I'm gonna do a, the neurological exam now, Jordan. So if you can close your eyes, and then I'm gonna push this against your uh, toes and feet, and just tell me whenever you feel this, okay? So you have good protective sensation. I'm going to do the sharp doll exam. So one of these will feel sharp, one will feel, feel dull. Just close your eyes. Tell me which one's sharp and dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. 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 Good. Now I'm going to do a vibratory test. So I'm going to hit this and keep your eyes closed. Tell me when you feel the vibration and then when you feel it stop, okay? Good. Now I'm going to check your reflexes real quick, your patellar and Achilles. So if you can sit up here. Okay. So patellar reflex. Good. Patellar reflexes are intact. Achilles reflex. Good. I see the contraction. Good. I see the contraction. Okay. So if you can sit up here, I'm going to do the Babinski test. This checks for upper motor neuron disease. Okay, good. Good, 
no upper motor neuron disease. All right, if you can close your eyes and tell me which toe I'm touching, and then if I have movement towards you or towards me. Big toe. Little toe. Towards me. Okay. Big toe. Towards me. Towards you. Little toe. Big toe. Okay. Good. All right, Jordan. So, based on your physical exam, and your history and the presentation with the symptoms that you've described, my primary diagnosis is Raynaud syndrome. And all Raynaud syndrome is, is it's kind of like a vasospasm of the arteries within these digits. And it can be triggered from stress or emotion or um, a cold environment. So because you work outside a lot and you're in the cold environment, plus with your um, history of rheumatoid arthritis, which is a predisposing factor for Raynaud's syndrome. So that's my primary diagnosis right now, along with the, the skin cha color changes with the hyperemia, and when you're outside, you have the pale and cyanotic skin changes, along with the burning pain. So moving forward, I'm gonna prescribe you amlodipine, 10 milligrams twice a day, I'd also like to do a nail fold capillary exam, which kind of helps differentiate between primary and secondary Raynaud syndrome. And because of your history of rheumatoid arthritis, I would like to do um, a consult with a rheumatologist to get that checked out. Um, so you can return to clinic after the consult with the rheumatologist and then after the nail fold capillary exam, and I'm gonna send you home with a pamphlet on Raynaud's that has some uh, preventative measures and advice. So do you have any questions for me today? Nope. Okay, thanks Jordan, I'll see you soon.